Wow, look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, you must face my hand-picked opponent so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Sure. Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Cardiff, Wales, weighing in at 269 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Sportsman. The Intercontinental Champion hasn't made too many entrances in his WWE career, but he seems to be getting the hang of it. He seems to be getting the hang of a lot of things, like winning. Let's see if he can keep the train rolling here tonight. The lock has been handed the keys to WWE. Is he ready to drive? Rehab his neck at ringside. 
Buckle up, folks. The Locks title might not be up for grabs, but his reputation would certainly take a hit if he takes a step backwards here tonight. He moves just in time. Where's the haymaker? Dominating shoulder tackle. Able to interrupt the attack. And he sends him into the corner. Unloads a shot to the gut. A close line. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Neck is trapped. Neck suplex. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Ridge prevents that from connecting. He's looking a little off balance. Delivered into the barricade. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. He climbs back into the ring just in time. That uh, was getting close. And some effective offense with that one. Ridge gets the better there. Gotta hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. In the face. And landing with a double axe handle. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Look at this. Boom. Oh, nice. He's absorbing some. Going for the pin. One, two. Sammy Zayn just blindsided the lock with his chain. This was all a setup to weaken the Intercontinental Champion before. Face is Sami Zayn. Come on, now. Did Sami say something about the safe? Could be some kind of revenge for what happened when the lock debuted. With the deranged Sami Zayn calling the shots, nothing is off limits. Well, whatever the plan is, Sami looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Ridge Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they going to do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Sammy and Ridge want no part of him. Oh, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Locke certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage.
Hey, you okay? It was almost really bad. Thanks for the assist, but I'm fine. It might not have looked like it, but I had things under control out there. Really? It looked more like you were about to get flattened by a thousand pounds safe. I respect you wanting to handle your own business, but I meant it when I told you I'd have your back. Look, let's get this straight. I like to do things on my own. It's gotten me this far. Take it from someone who's been here a while. That's not gonna cut it in WWE. And whether you want my help or not, I heard we're teaming together next week against Sammy and Ridge Holland. Fine. I guess we can team up for one night. Do you want to talk strategy or anything? I'll see you in the ring next week. It's the man who might transform WWE forever, The Lock. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Cardiff, Wales, weighing in at 269 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Sportsman. Intercontinental titles don't grow on trees unless you're WWE's new Ow! golden boy. Is that jealousy I'm hearing, Corey? Turn out the lights and close the doors behind you. It's time to lock up. Superstars in WWE, Gabriel Slade and his partner from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 220 pounds, Gabriel Slade. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. The savvy veteran always seems to find a way. Let's see if Gabriel Slade can do it one more time. A man free of bloodlines who still thinks he's pretty oozy. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! Well, you can't help but think about the emotional roller coaster that Sammy Zayn has had. Not a friend in the world when he was spreading conspiracy theories, and then found a family in the bloodline. But now, he's got the entire WWE Universe by his side. Let's not forget, a rekindled brotherhood with Kevin Owens. Win or lose, there is one guarantee about Sami Zayn, and that is each and every night, Zayn competes with all of his heart. Representing the Brawling Brutes 
from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds, Rich Holland. A top competitor in professional rugby for over a decade before joining WWE. It's tough enough to even survive yeah. professional rugby for a decade. Speak softly and carry a big stick. Well, it certainly applies to this man. Holland going to let his power speak for him tonight. It's been a non-stop thrill ride ever since the Intercontinental Champion stepped foot in WWE, and there's no reason to think it'll stop tonight as The Lock and Gabriel Slade take on Sami Zayn and Rich Holland. The Rock locked horns with Sami Zayn on his first night in WWE and can't seem to shake Sami loose. Locked horns, huh? You need to unlock some new vocabulary, and The Lock and Gabriel Slade need to get on the same page fast if they're going to have a chance against two of WWE's most talented superstars two kicks out he still has life how in the world did he kick out oh flipping the script on him there oh no he can be caught here bad spot for him straining those muscles after everything these two men have been so a couple of elbows to the jaw and that'll break things up Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table, none of these things are fun to collide with. Overhand connects. Fisherman suplex, incredible. Got it scouted. the tag. Tag made. Tag made. Uh-oh. Gonna try to break the leg. Oh, my God. Oh, look at the torch of their opponent. Uh-oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, man. Strong right foot. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. 
big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Up across the shoulders. Feast your eyes. Does that finish Sammy off? Gets the tag. And that's it. Scores a win for the team. Here are your winners. The Sportsman and Gabriel Slade. And with the ref's count, this match has ended. When it comes down to the record books, a win is a win no matter the conditions. They should still be proud. So, these interviews for the doc will be quick and easy. It's just like we're having a conversation. I've seen these before. I get it. Okay, good. So, a lot to catch up on. You debuted on Raw, won the IC title, almost got squashed by a half-ton safe, but then were rescued by an unlikely ally in Gabriel Slade. I appreciated the assist, but I wouldn't go as far as to say we're allies. Okay, let's not get hung up on semantics. Nonetheless, Sami Zayn was not happy that Shawn Michaels gave you the choice of how you'll defend your Intercontinental Championship. Is there any merit to Sami's complaints? I know I'm new here, but I also know that Sami Zayn will find a way to complain about anything. That's true. I once heard him complain that the production crew's box dinners were bland and uninspired. Really? Oh, okay, that was me. But you get the idea. Anyway, what's your choice for the rematch against Sammy? And give me some flavor, if you don't mind. Sammy wants to talk about privilege? Well, he's going to have the privilege of having a 10-foot ladder jammed down his throat. Boom! Mic drop! <laughs>